Hey everyone, I am Kelly Lintz and I'm a Senior Gold Ambassador with Plexus Worldwide. And if you are watching this video, you're watching it for uh, one of two reasons, okay? You're either a new ambassador and you don't know what the heck you're doing, perfectly normal, you shouldn't know what the heck you're doing. Two, you are an ambassador and have been an ambassador for a while and you have some ambassadors underneath of you and you don't really know how to tell them what the heck they're doing, okay? This initial training will help you do that. So I'm gonna share my screen with you. I've entitled this training, the Plexus New Ambassador Training, What the Heck Do I Do Now? Um, isn't that creative? Um, I want you to know one thing. Like, what I don't want you to do is I don't want you to freak out, okay? This call has nothing to do with me determining your level of interest in working this business. That's completely up to you. I have no desire to force anybody to do something they don't want to do, okay? Um, I'm here to motivate, not dominate. Um, however, if, even if you're somebody that just wants to like maybe know what to say um, when somebody asks you about the products, to maybe you wanna get your products paid for, to you know what, I actually do need a side or source of income and I like these products and I think this could be a good one. Um, this information is gonna help you. So I will match your pace. If you wanna walk and just maybe share it only when it comes up naturally, I can help you do that. If you want to run, uh, I love to run with my runners. I have a few runners on my team, people that have said, you know what, I'm going to use this to gain some financial freedom. Um, that's what I, after a year of doing this, have pretty much decided to do. But I'll talk about that a little bit later. So the very first thing that you're going to encounter as a new ambassador and as people, as you start talking to people about Plexus and people start asking you about it, people are going to say, uh, what is Plexus anyway? And my answer to that in the beginning <laughs> ranged from, um, to, well, it's, um, it's so good <laughs> to, you know, it's just this stuff that does some things. And, you know, I really didn't have a succinct answer. And it's really a great idea while you're sitting on the ball field, while you're at soccer practice, while you're at the dance studio or wherever you happen to be, to be able to have a 30 second succinct answer to this question, okay? So here's what I say to people, I keep it short. I say, listen, Plexus is a health and wealth, uh, wellness company. They make products that pretty much keep us from being fat, depressed, and tired. And I've been taking them for a year now and I honest to God feel better in my 40s than I did in my 20s. And I really consider it the holy grail for humans everywhere. Um, and I leave uh -huh. that, I stop talking, okay? Now, the reason I do that is you want to focus on what it does rather than what it is. If you start overwhelming people with like, if you start puking gut on people, uh, they're going to start redecorating their living room inside of their head while you're talking. Okay, you don't want to cause people's eyes to glaze. So don't overwhelm them with the sciencey info. However, if you want to be able to solve their problem, hang on really quick. Is somebody not muted? I, I don't know if I am or not. I don't know where the little microphone is on my phone. Okay, oh, I'm, okay, I'm going to mute you. Uh, okay, there we go. Yay, okay, great. Um, the only reason that I started taking Plexus is because my super good friend, Lori Beth, um, posted on Facebook and said, this helped me get rid of anxiety. That, if she had started just talking about gut health and all of that, I would have been like, oh, it's just another earthy, crunchy person talking about earthy, crunchy things that I just can't relate to because I'm not that strict with my diet or anything. But she solved a problem for me. I really was struggling with anxiety and feelings of just sadness and, and depression, if I'm being honest. So that is what caused me to say, well, wait, why did it solve your anxiety? So after you do that, if people show more interest. If they don't show more interest, if they're just like, oh, great, move on, okay? Don't, 
people say, I don't want to do this because I don't want to be salesy. Well, thank God, nobody likes to be sold to. So if there's not interest, don't create interest where there isn't any. However, many times people will say, well, actually some of the, what you just talked about, I can relate to, can you send me some more information? Yep, I sure can. Cause I've created this email that uh, will help you. So I send them this email. Actually, probably all of you got this email from me back in the beginning, okay? I, I change it and tweak it depending on who I'm sending it to, but a lot of the info is the same, so I try not to reinvent the wheel a thousand times. It has four parts. The first part is my story. It basically talks about what it was like, what happened, and what I'm like now, pretty much with my health. So it's like a little blurb about my story. Now, if I've already had that conversation, because sometimes you're sitting there chatting with somebody, and you've already shared your story. You've already said, I was so bloated, I didn't know what to do, and this fixed it. Or I was just really sad all the time. I felt like I was tired and had no energy, and this fixed it. You might have already done that. So leave it out then. Um, or maybe just do a brief summary of it. The second part is um, I list what each of the Fab Four does. The Fab Four being the pink drink, BioCleanse, ProBio5, and X Factor. Those were the four things I took in the beginning that made such a difference for me, okay? And then the third part is I do put some product labels on there because there are some sciencey people that research all this stuff and they wanna know um, what exactly is in it. They wanna know, is it folic acid or is it folate? Because that makes a big difference. I was not that person. To me, I trusted Lori Beth. If it helped her feel better, I trusted that and I took it, but there are people out there that are the exact opposite and they want to know every single thing that's in it. Great. Be prepared for that. And then finally, I say, listen, if you want to um, try this or maybe you just want to look at the website and um, look, uh, do a little more research on the products, here's the website. Then I put my website in there. I do this because if they click on that, it automatically takes them to my site. And then no matter what, whenever they re-enter Plexus again, it automatically defaults and goes to my link. So if they do order, it's assured that it will go through me. And you can fix that. Like if somebody orders and they don't order it through your link by mistake, um, you can fix it, but it's kind of a pain in the neck. So that's why I put my website. So now your question is, well, I don't know what my website is. What, where, how do I know what that is? Well, because you set it up when you ordered, but if you don't remember, um, here is how you find your website link. You're gonna go to backoffice.plexusworldwide.com, okay? That is what, you, that's your back office, um, which is where you can see who your customers are, who your ambassadors are, how much PV you've earned, etc. You're gonna log in with your user and password that you set up. If you forget what that is, there's a way to retrieve it. Then you're gonna hover over account services um, and click on my settings and it will show you what your website is. Mine is shopmyplexus.com forward slash Kelly Lintz. Yours is probably just your name too. Um, you can change that at any time if you want to as well. Okay, um, so that's how you know what your website is. Um, and you can, you can put that link in Facebook messages and text messages if anybody's like, yeah, give me your link. Some people are very savvy when it comes to network marketing. They understand how it works. Um, you just kind of have to know who you're talking to. Okay, so now they're like, great, I wanna try this. This is amazing. So you, now you need to figure out how they should order, okay? There's three ways to buy. You picked one of them when you did this, okay? Um, the first way, I almost never tell people because in my opinion, it's dumb. It's not cost effective um, and that's retail. That's where they would order one time. It does not go on an auto ship. They do get a 60 day money back guarantee, but it's a lot more pricey. 
If they order as a preferred customer, not only do they get a 10% discount, um, they also get a 60 day money back guarantee. Um, if they stay on the products for four months, they're, uh, they'll get an additional 10% off after that. Um, and listen, if they're like, well, I don't like auto ship. I get that. I don't like auto ship either. However, it is so easy to go in and turn it off whenever they want. And Plexus now, they didn't used to do this, but they do it now. They will send an email seven days ahead of time and say, Hey, your order's about to ship. Now would be a good time to either add whatever it was you wanted to add to it, take away anything you don't want, um, or cancel it. So they get, they get an, a reminder. So there's really no reason, there's no penalty to cancel as a preferred customer, okay? So I usually steer people toward that. The third way is just joining as an ambassador. Um, some of you did that right off the bat. Some of you flipped yourself after a while. Um, some of you had to flip yourself because you had people that wanted it. And then you're like, oh, well, that's what happened to me. When I first started, uh, if I could say less than zero interest in, in working the business side, that's what I would say. That's, that's about how much interest I had. Um, I had no interest. And um, so I ordered as a preferred customer. But then in like literally five minutes, my mom wanted it. My dad wanted it. My neighbors, when they saw how much of a better mood I was in, wanted it. So I flipped myself to be able to get it to them and be able to get my products paid for. Why wouldn't I do that? That would be dumb. So it doesn't say so on this graphic, but now people can order as an ambassador right away and still get the 60 day money back guarantee. It used to be five. Now they're like, you know what? We'll give the 60 day money back guarantee if people want to join too. So how do you know which way to steer people? Okay. If, Here's how you know that somebody needs to be a preferred customer and not an ambassador. If they're gonna order less than 100 PV, um, and if uh, hopefully you guys got a chance to watch the um, compensation plan video because some of this verbiage is explained in there. But basically 100 PV is kind of like $100 a month. It's not an exact translation, but if they're only gonna get the pink drink, they need to be a preferred customer, okay? To be an ambassador, you have to have 100 PV go through your website. It can be either from you or from a customer, but 100 PV has to go through. Um, if they're not committed to doing this for at least 90 days, if they're like, well, I'll try it for a month and we'll see, make them a preferred customer. If they're like, there's no freaking way I will ever, ever, ever tell anyone about Plexus, um, make them a preferred customer. Most people you should have as a preferred customer. Why? You make more money that way. You make more money up front if they're a preferred customer than you do if they're an ambassador. And if you watched the compensation plan video, it's explained why. But if you have a, um, a wholesale customer that only is ordering 100, like only ordering the triplex every month, you make a lot less money that way. Now, you do need ambassadors to rank up through the system. And eventually you do wanna do that because that's how you um, start earning some substantial income. But it's much better to have people as a customer if they're gonna drop after three months, okay? Now, okay, but just last night, my friend Jen, I'm like, you know what? You need to just join. Why? Um, oh, and also if you see at the top where that arrow is, if somebody wants to be a preferred customer, you're gonna have them click shop. And if somebody wants to um, join as an ambassador, you would have them click join, okay? So I had my friend Jen join. Why? Because she's ready to get healthy and I'm pretty sure she's gonna be committed to this for at least three months, okay? She also talked about finances being an issue. She needs to save some money. Her husband left his job and is starting his own company. That can be a dicey time. So I'm like, you know what? You need to get the cheaper price and order as an ambassador. Um, and she is, you know, she's at least interested in getting her products paid for, for sure. She's open to that. She's not necessarily open to being like a rock star Plexus ambassador. Totally fine. Um, but there's no reason to not get your products paid for. Um, so that's kind of how you know. Sometimes you make the wrong choice. Um, 
for example, an example of that is I had somebody order as a wholesale customer to help them save money. And then they decided that they only wanted the probiotic and bio cleanse. They didn't want the pink drink anymore. Well, now they're ordering less than 100 PV every month. And I'm not going to make any money on that. Okay, now I love her. I care about her. It doesn't really matter to me that much, but it would have been better to just keep her as a customer. Okay. All right. So then you've decided, they've decided what they want to be, for a customer or ambassador. So they order their products and I send them this letter, okay? It is a very detailed letter of how to get started on this. Um, as you see on the right side, I have a schedule for easing into the products. You want to ease them into it because there can be detox symptoms. There can be die off. People can feel more bloated at first. Um, so you don't want to overwhelm their body um, and have them have such a negative experience at first that they're like, oh, wow, I know I'm done. Okay. So that's why we ease into it. I talk about taking a photo. I include my before and after photo. Um, as because had I, that was only a two and a half pound weight loss, you guys. So had I not taken that photo, I would have considered Plexus a failure as far as weight loss because um, it was only two and a half pounds. It doesn't look like two and a half pounds. It looks like people say anywhere from like eight to 12 pounds. But I had so much inflammation going on and bloating it just really made a big difference. I dropped an entire size. So I really <clears throat> highly encourage people to take a photo um, so that they can compare in 90 days. I also talk about realistic expectations. This is not crack. It's a supplement. People, some people feel amazing right away, which I did. I had that experience. Some people are like, I don't know. I don't know if I feel better. And it takes a month, a two, sometimes three for them to say, you know what, this has brought about good changes in my body. It took a little bit of time, but I feel it. So I do talk about that. You don't want to like sell them a, uh, a sunshine and rainbow story when they might have some storm clouds ahead. But if they know to expect it, then there's less of a chance of them giving up after six weeks. Okay. And the reason I don't want people to give up after six weeks, it's not because I want to make money, you guys. It's because I want them to feel as good as I do, okay? Honest to God, that's the truth. So, okay, so you send them a welcome letter and then that's it. Yay, they ride into the sunset. No, you've got to check back in with them. How's it going? Um, check in with them at like two weeks, three weeks and say, okay, are you experiencing some detox? What's going on? Why do you wanna do this? because maybe they're taking the products wrong. Maybe they're not getting enough water. Maybe they're still eating a ton of donuts um, and they're wondering why they're not losing any weight. Um, and they could just drop off without ever letting you know that um, they weren't feeling all that good, okay? And that's also, I don't focus so much on the detox and the die off in the, in the welcome letter because I don't want to scare people because not everybody experiences it. Some people, it's sunshine and rainbows right from the get go. So I don't want to like scare people, but I do want to like bring it up a little bit after they've started. I don't follow up too often. Why? That's irritating. Okay. I, uh, that's just irritating. Nobody wants to be um, hovered over. And also, if you follow up like every three days, people think they're supposed to be experiencing results that quickly, okay? So I have a system, because I have a lot of people now that are under me, so I have sort of a system that um, I use to remember who do I need to check in with um, lately, but that's a different training. Um, and also, after a couple of months, they might say, you know, I'm feeling really good. My energy is great. I wish my sleep was a little better. This happened to me. And I was like, I'm still really struggling with insomnia. I'm once I get to sleep, I'm staying asleep great, but I still can't get to sleep. Part of that is my habit of working late into the night and my brain doesn't turn off. So that's my own thing. But uh, somebody suggested to me, well, why don't you try Mega X? So introduce other products they might like. Maybe they have a lot of chronic pain. Tell them about ease. Maybe they need like a good meal replacement. I love the protein shakes. I use them at least three times a week 
I use a plexus protein shake as a meal replacement um, or a snack. Uh, so there's lots of new products that you can introduce. So just keep in touch, not in an annoying, intrusive way, but just you be there to be their health advocate. Okay, so that is the order of operations. That is like the bare minimum of what you need to know to start talking to people about this and feel like you know what you're doing. Um, I thought I would spend just a couple minutes at the end of this explaining why I have taken some time away from um, building my Hollywood empire to include Plexus in my daily routine, both the products and the business, okay? Like, cause like I said, at the beginning of this, I was like, I, I don't wanna, um, I don't wanna be a network marketer. Why? If I'm being honest, I thought it was beneath me. I was a snob. Um, I thought I was too good for it. And like, I was just like, are you kidding? I don't sell things, I'm an artist. Um, so that was my own, my own issue, but I suspect a lot of people feel the same way um, based on what you've told me about yourself. So the when I first started taking Plexus, I did it for my own health and wellness. You guys, I was desperate to feel better. Um, I would have done anything to feel better. And when they worked for me, it was the biggest answer to prayer I may have ever gotten in my life. Okay, aside from healthy children and a great family and blah, blah, blah. So then I couldn't help but tell people about it. And people couldn't help but ask me about it. Like people are like, what's different about you? Are you losing weight? Or you seem to have a lot more energy. So I ended up getting backed into a corner basically because people wanted to order it. And, um, you know, I spent a lot of time at the beginning apologizing for like, well, uh, you have to kind of get it from me and, oh, I'm sorry about that. And I'm over that now actually. But, um, I did want health and wellness for my friends because this was such an answer to prayer. And I knew if there was another mom out there and I fa have found many of them, if they were sitting there not feeling good, and I could be an answer to prayer for them, how selfish is it of me not to at least let them know about this? If they wanna say no, by all means, say no. But I at least feel a moral obligation to let them know about it, okay? Well, so I started doing that. My first month, I made like several hundred dollars. I was like, what, how did I even do this? Like, where, where did this come from? You guys, Plexus is pretty dang generous. They take 50% of what they make and they give it back to their ambassadors. They would rather have, and this is where I got over my stigma about network marketing. They are like, we would never put our products on a shelf at GNC. They need a story to go with them. And we would rather compensate moms that are staying at home, um, you know, full-time working people that just want to make an extra side income, we would rather compensate them than a giant supplement company that's already making a lot of money. So um, there's a lot of jewels in this company that are at the top ranks that have been involved with other network marketing companies. And they all say that Plexus is the most lucrative network marketing company that they've ever been a part of, okay? I, I actually think it's because everybody in our country is fat, depressed, and tired, and these products work. Um, so that's why I think it's a great company to be involved with. So I started to see, catch a vision for some financial freedom. I have been an actor for 25 years. Some years it's lucrative, some years it's not. And after 25 years, I'm a little tired of wondering what I have coming in every month. And this has been the hugest blessing for me um, to gain some financial stability as we speak, you guys. Um, I mean, we've always been able to pay our bills. I could just never do extras. But as we speak, because of Plexus, there is a amazing closet being built into my master bedroom right now that has been paid for all with Plexus money. So when I go home on Saturday, I'm gonna feel like Kim Kardashian. 
Um, just to give you an idea, these are the average monthly incomes, okay? Right now, I'm at senior gold, which is about $2,000 a month. That's conservative, because I'm senior gold, and last month my paycheck was $2,700. Okay? Um, as you can see, when you get to Emerald, it doubles. Why? Because that's when you start to profit share. They share 1% of the company's, or 3% of the company's overall profit, and they divide it up with all the emeralds in the company. There's not that many emeralds, you guys. So, and that's also when they will give you a free Lexus and, oh, go to Hawaii every year with your husband or whoever. Um, so that is the rank that I'm shooting for. Um, here is another way to look at it. This is an annual income, senior gold. Again, it's conservative, 24,000. If I'm on, tra I'm on track this year to make more like 36, if I, if I don't grow at all. Now, you're like, well, but I don't have time for that. I do this in about 90 minutes a day. At the beginning, I only spent about 30 minutes a day, you guys. 30 minutes a day. Um, now it's up to 90 because I do have a team of people underneath of me that need guidance and help. But it's fun. Um, if you knew that you could make an extra $2,000 a month by spending 30 minutes to an hour a day doing some set things, would you do it? Maybe the answer is no, and that's perfectly fine. Again, I will never in a million years, uh, first of all, not only do I not want to force people to do something they don't want to do, it's impossible to do that. No one would have ever been able to make me pursue the business side of this. But if any of that resonates with you and interests you, I just want you to know that in order to reach that rank, I did five little things a day. Five little things a day. And that got me to the rank of senior gold, okay? If you want to know what those five things are, then you will need to tune in to training number two because I don't want to assume that any of you want that. But if you do, I can help you because I will run with runners, I will walk with walkers, and I will just hold hands with people that want to sit on the bench. <laughs> and that's fine with me too. Um, so that is all I have for today. If you have any questions, go ahead and unmute yourself. I have a question. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> what if, okay, this has been one of my biggest dilemmas. I've always been in good shape. I've never needed to lose weight. <clears throat> um, I've been a fitness advocate since I can remember. Um, and I find that people want something where they can lose weight. And I don't advocate that because I don't agree with that because I think it's crap. Because I think what people do is they think, oh, and I don't, I think it's crap because I can't do it. I can't, I can't physically go out and say, you're going to lose weight. You're going to look great. Even if you put down the donuts and I hear what you had to say, but how does someone like me come at it? Because yeah. what it did for me was I didn't do it to lose weight and you didn't either. And that's what I respect about the way you did it. Mm -hmm. Right. But the people who I'm going to deal with are going to want to lose weight. Right. The same way that I share testimonies of people who have chronic arthritis. Okay. Like, I don't have arthritis. This did not help me for arthritis, but it sure helps a lot of other people with arthritis because of the alpha lipoic acid in the pink drink. It helps reduce inflammation. So it's not my testimony, but here, let me show you someone that that helps. Now, regarding your question about weight loss, I just shared this with Ashley, who's going to make a post about this today. This meme. You have to get healthy to lose weight, not lose weight to get healthy. Sustainable weight loss will be a natural byproduct of regaining your health. If you get healthy, you will look great on accident, okay? That is my experience. I was eating correctly. I was exercising like a maniac. I'm an actress. I'm on camera, for God's sake. I, that's part of my job. But no matter what I did, I looked like I was four months pregnant. 
all the time. So I just thought that that I was an apple, that that was my body shape, right? Mm -hmm. But once I got my gut healthy, the inflammation went away and my body started to naturally go to where it was supposed to be. So this, what I would say to those people is to say, listen, you may be crossfitting until you die, but Mm -hmm. if your gut is not healthy, if you have candida in your gut, Mm -hmm. your body will not read those efforts correctly and it will not go away. That is one of the main um, symptoms of candida overgrowth is excess weight that won't leave. So while I'm not going to sell you a weight loss product, I am going to sell you a get your gut healthy product that the, one of the side effects could be weight loss. Okay. I like how you said that. One of the side effects is weight loss. Um, my other question is the women I had that have asked me about it are in menopause, Yeah, which I am too. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing I have experienced is being in menopause, you're depending on which day of the week is and what color the sky is you, um, and, and this is common from the women I've talked to, you can tend to still have a little swelling. And that, that's kind of my question that I don't know. Is there another product? And you and I can talk about this later. I don't want to take all this time on here. But that is the question I've gotten. And so I can't answer it because, see, it happens to me. Now, I, I, the good news is I, I know how to fix most of it. But some days it, it, it doesn't. So I'm wondering if there is also an answer I can give to them um, well, about I, that. I do know that the chromium... In, right in the pink drink regulates hormones right so that is beneficial to anyone that's in peri or actual menopause mm-hmm. now is it going to fix everything maybe not but will it be better than it could be sure that's again another way that you know you you, you can't say oh take this and all your menopause symptoms will go away Exactly. You don't want to say that because first, no. everybody's body's different. Everybody might take a little bit of a different time, but you can say this could possibly alleviate some of them over time. Um, undersell, over deliver. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. That that answered my question. But I do. There's lots of. Um, if there's ever anybody that's like, hey, does it help with this? Go to Facebook. Type in the search bar, plexus and uh, migraines. Plexus mm-hmm. and um, autism, even. There's a lot of testimonies out there about moms having their autistic children on the triplex and them seeing some improvements. In fact, somebody on our team, her son has autism and it's reduced his stuttering and his facial tics. Mm. You know, are they perfect? No. But are they reduced? Sure. Yeah. And he's more verbal. So, I mean, gut health is really linked to autism in a lot of studies lately. I, mm-hmm. I hesitate to say too much about it because I haven't researched that, that enough. But um, so that's how you can research and you can find testimonies of, okay, borrow my testimony about the weight mm-hmm. loss thing. Borrow... Kathy, my friend Kathy, who was working out and eating healthy and just could not lose that 50 pounds she needed to lose. And she lost 35 pounds for her son's wedding. She looked great um, by getting her gut healthy. So anyone else, anyone else have any questions about anything? Um. Oh, there's Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Um, you know, in closing, I just want to say that it, if you are somebody that's like, I don't want to sell this to people, I applaud you. Don't do it. I, I just reached out to somebody today that said, had said, put something, a funny meme up about coffee. 
and about how she like just has to have her coffee in the morning. And I'm like, well, what the heck? And, and also about something about her mood or energy or something. And I said, I said, Nikki, I don't know if you've been seeing what I've been posting about Plexus, but if you, I just want to let you know that my magic unicorn water will help you with a not craving as much coffee and uh, my mood has never been better and I don't need to take a nap anymore. And she wrote back and she was super nice. And she's like, you know what? I really don't need that much coffee. And I feel like I'm doing pretty well and I'm eating healthy and blah, blah, blah. And, and you know, a lot of, a lot of network marketing companies will teach you to overcome objections. And I may be wrong. I may be doing this all wrong. I don't like to do that. If you have an objection, uh, so basically what I did was say, okay, she's like, if I ever feel the need for it, I will reach out to you. I could have said, well, I know you think that diet and exercise is enough, but really proper supplementation is equally as important. Like, no, that would have irritated me if somebody did that to me. So I just said, okay, sounds good, Nikki. Why did I do that? Did that because there might come a time where she's like, gosh, diet and exercise just don't seem to be doing, what was that stuff that Kelly was talking about? Maybe I should ask her about that again. But if I was like jumping all over top of her, she wouldn't want to come back and talk to me about it. And I honestly think that's why um, I, I've had so many people that after months have said, you know what, I think I do need to try this. And I'm not saying don't follow up. I'm not saying don't check in, but just don't sell this to them. And sometimes you need to tell people, you know what, I don't think this might, I, this might not help you. <laughs> Cause then they're like, wait, what? <laughs> they're not expecting that. But then they know that your motives are pure. And I really do try to keep my motives pure. I really try to keep the money side of this out of it. Is it lucrative? Do I feel like it's gonna provide me with some financial freedom? Yes, I do. Do I plan to pursue it and tell people about it? Sure, why? Because if I don't, somebody else will. Um, so why not me? But as far, like if, you, if you're worried about being a part of a team where somebody's gonna be calling you and being like, well, what have you done this week? That's just not me. This is not me. Now, will there be times when for the people that are like, okay, I really wanna rank up to the next level, that I set up some sort of like challenge for fun that people can choose to take part in or not? Of course, because I'm gonna motivate you. And I'm gonna make, you know, I'm gonna, I have ways to get people out of their comfort zone. But I'm not really about, like really only you can decide when you wanna do that, not me. So that's what I wanna end with, unless anybody has any additional questions. Um, do you have a um, place where we can find what you just, um, yeah. all the, the PowerPoint, that great PowerPoint you did? Yeah, I'm actually. And also, let me clarify. I didn't mean Plexus was crap. I meant that attitude was crap. <laughs> <laughs> that, that when people want to take something to lose weight, that just infuriates me. So right. I want to I clarify that. <laughs> they want like a magic, they want a magic pill. Right. And that is, I have no patience with that. No. So I like, just wanted to clarify that. I'm very clear with people from the beginning. Like, look, Plexus will not negate that donut. Block will help. Block is a freaking great product, you guys. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. Because sometimes you just got to have some pizza, right? Um, but it won't, you have to be very clear with people that like, if you're eating like crap, you're still gonna, you're, you're not gonna lose weight. You're not gonna get healthy. But Plexus will, is a tool in your toolbox that will help you do that more effectively. You need both. You've gotta have both. Okay? Yes, I'm gonna, I am going to, on the Plexus Makes Perfect Facebook page, there is a files tab. I'm going to put in the files tab the letter, the two letters that I send, the two emails that I send. And I don't recommend you sending them as attachments. I recommend that you cut, copy, and paste and put it into an email. Um, and I'm going, do you want me to put this PowerPoint presentation in there? Okay, I can do that. I will do that. Um, now, who I just... Before we go, I did say I'm going to do a drawing for a seven day trial, but I wanna make sure that everybody's on this call is on my little wheel of fun. So, 
let me, we have Ashley, Tara, Amanda, Angela, Luann, and Nan, right? I think that's right. Let me just make sure. Okay, great. Uh, oh, and Tammy, Tammy jumped on. I didn't think you were, so I didn't put you on there, but I'm going to, Tammy. Okay. Let me share my screen with you. Actually, hang on. I'm gonna stop recording right now because nobody really needs to see that. Thank you, bye. Join in for part two.